Hi, I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and today we're going to be making a Paula Sub mug. We have these in a variety of different sizes and styles. Also come in a coffee mug. This material is great because it's actually plastic, it's lightweight, doesn't break, and it greatly reduces your cost of shipping on top of being a really great product. So first, let's get started on the products we're going to need today. Plastic, as you know, will melt. So we're going to be using a insert tool, which is going to help keep the heat transferred and keep our mug in shape. I also have a piece of protective paper, the image I'd like to display. I have gloves because I have to remove my tool right away while it's very hot. And since it's metal, it's going to stay very hot. Very good idea to have some gloves. I have heat tape and we'll be using my mug press today. Our first step is taking our image, wrapping it around our mug, and securing it down with a piece of heat tape. Keep it as even on both sides as possible. We'll secure it down with a single piece of heat tape. Once I have my heat tape in place, make sure my image is nice and snug, no wrinkles. My next step is going to be placing my insert tool all the way inside my mug. Take a sheet of protective paper, wrap it around. I'm going to keep my handle on the outside. Holding on to the handle, I will slide my poly sub mug into my press. I have it set for 390 degrees. We'll press for four minutes. We'll be using medium pressure. You'll notice that we decided to use four minutes for our time. If you refer to your instructions, it will give you a variation between four and 12 minutes. The difference between the times and the temperatures of the different presses is you can choose to use a conventional oven wrap which makes it more convenient for you to use if you only have an oven wrap versus actually having a specific mug press. We definitely recommend using a mug press, but the oven wraps work too. And you want to be sure to pay attention to your instructions and use your time, and temperature, and pressure and set those accordingly. And that sound means we're done. So I'll lift and swing away on my press, move my mug. Remember, you're going to want to remove your tool right away. It's going to be very hot. It's a good thing we have gloves. Move my transfer. That looks great. Give it just a few minutes to cool. And that's going to complete our mug. Now you'll notice that with the tool, if you ever have it start sticking when you place it in your mug, chances are that you've let it cool too much. It's best to remove it while it's nice and hot. It slides out so much easier. If you get it and you put it in, it's too cold. It's going to stick to the sides and it's going to be hard to get out. So that's just an easy tip for you to make it go by a lot faster. I just finished my Polisub mug and you can see how well the sublimation turned out. These are a great product because we have a variety of different sizes and styles. They're lightweight, produce bright sublimation, and they're very durable. For more products and services, be sure to visit us at condi.com. Be sure to watch more of my videos at conditv.com. I'm Brittany with Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.